lab a moment here hello and welcome back to my channel in case you're new here karibu sana welcome in this particular video i would like to show you an app that you must have in 2020 and this is called adobe scan mobile application which you can download on your app store on android you can download it on google app store so with this application you can be able to scan any document a form a business card etc so let's just have a look at it as i explain to you what it is so adobe scan so with adobe scan you can be able to uh, basically scan a document if you're a student and you want to scan maybe your transcript for an online application for a degree course maybe abroad or if you're looking for a job and you want to send scanned copies of your certificates and transcripts and everything else this is the application for you because you don't need to have a physical printer for you to be able to scan the document so let's try and scan this page and see so you just make sure that your camera is is steady and then you click on the capture button it's going to scan through and when done it's going to capture so you can see it has captured this page and we can be able to move the crop tool to fit to whatever we want to capture on the image that you've scanned and then you click on continue and then let's click on the image down here and see how it looks if we we are okay with how this document has come out we can begin by here at the top giving it a name so you can give the document whatever document name and then you save it so down here there are a couple of things that you might want to do if you wanted to add a page maybe take another page or maybe scan another transcript or scan another certificate you will click on add a page and you take another photo and you can be able to change your pages and then be able to capture what you want again resize it crop it to your liking so to ensure everything has been captured and then you can click on continue so let's click on our pages and see so we have page one and we have page two down here again we have reorder if you wanted to reorder how the pages come maybe you wanted page one and two one to be two and two to be one you can be able to do that and then we have crop if you feel like you need to repeat the crop that you did maybe remove some sections that don't make sense you can be able to do that and or you can be able to say auto detect no crop just pick the entire page and then you say okay then down here also there's auto rotate if you want to rotate the, how the page is going to look like you can do that color if you want to add color to grayscale to whiteboard effect or you just want to stick to the auto or the default color you can be able to do that if you want to clean up for example fill with surrounding color or fill with selected color you can be able to do that if you want to resize maybe you want an a4 portrait you can be able to select that and make sure that you make changes for each and every page or rather make sure that you check that each and every page matches the settings that you change so you can resize into a4 portrait a4 landscape a3 portrait and landscape a5 portrait and landscape us let letter portrait landscape and us legal portrait and landscape so when you're done you can go ahead and click at the top here where it says save your pdf and when you after you've saved your pdf you can be able to share it with anyone so before we share we can preview and see what we have so when you preview we have this is our, our, the page that you scanned as page one and this will be page two so this tool is very important again uh if you if you want to scan some physical document and turn them into soft copies also if you have those certificates and you're worried that they might get lost maybe when you're moving or in case of god forbid a fire or anything or maybe you have kids who might maybe destroy something that is sensitive or important a marriage certificate a birth certificate this is a good way for you to store your document digitally you just use this adobe scan application make sure you have scanned all the documents that are important and save them on your email address and also you can be able to send your colleagues copies of things scanned copies of any documents or if you're in business and you want to send scanned copies of maybe a receipt you can be able to do that so yeah so if you wanted to share it then you just click on share and you can be able to share this document as a link or on email or you can share a copy via other applications that you may have so i hope that you've learned something please don't forget to subscribe 
and like this video leave me a comment on what you'd like to see next and please share this video as widely as possible goodbye hey hey subscribe subscribe and like leave me a comment down below hey goodbye